being in tech, being in machine learning, computer vision, we're, we're obviously in an area of a lot of competition for, for top talent. So it is really important to, to attract and, and, and retain that sort of talent. But I've never thought about it in those terms. I'm never thinking about how can we you know, structure our day-to-day -day or our comp or whatever to retain it. There's, there's always been, for me, a mutual alignment between um, engineers who, who want to work at Kipsy and the engineers we want to work at Kipsy. And then we have a passion for building cool stuff. We have a passion for building that stuff and having input into that. Right? It's the cool thing about a product company. You're motivated by your customers, but you're setting your own destiny in a lot of ways. You're, you're taking input from customers, you're understanding the problems they have, but then you're deciding how that's going to feed back into the product, into the, into the solution and features you build. That's always been sort of the way I talk to people as I interview them. It's like, how would you solve this problem? I want someone who could tell me, oh yeah, here's what I did, but here's what the thing did in general. Here's like the types of problems it solved. That's the way we work with our team. That's the way our team works with us. And those are, I think, that, that tend to be the, the best people, especially for a startup at our, our stage. You need people who, who can think big and, and small at the same time. Yeah, so if you're a brand new customer in, in, in distribution and warehousing, step one is we understand your problem. We've, we've solved lots of problems, probably for similar customers, and yours are probably similar, but they're not identical. And that's, that's the key. The first thing is we want to understand what is the end game that you're after? What's going to be impactful for your business users and, and your business as a whole? And then we work from there. You know, from there, obviously, we're going to connect to your camera streams, which means talking to your IT team, getting that connected. Um, we're going to use our, our warehouse of models that we have to detect the forklifts, the boxes, the people, the PPE, the what have you. And ultimately, then we, we take that and put that into an application logic that we build with you through our user interface, output the data that matters to you, right? So again, one customer may have a problem where they wanna know or boxes move from here to there. You might care about how many of them are stacked up and how long are they left there between employees visiting and working with them. So understanding those outcomes is really key. And then, you know, working with the steps, getting the camera access, using the models, building out the application logic, and ultimately, giving you as the customer that data that's gonna help you move forward. All right, so step-by-step, step, how do you get an idea to a um, outcome through, through Kipsy? So step one is always the cameras. So we, we get your cameras connected to our, our system, which allows us to process them in real time. Then we think about the data model we're after. And again, this goes into what is the solution trying to solve? What we are not is an if this, then that type thing. We don't care about necessarily the events on day one. What we care about is the entire data model. And that's how Kipsy applications are, are built. We're representing the real world as a data model. And that comes into to three main primitives. First ones are, are detected objects. So these are the things that computer vision typically goes after. People, equipment, boxes, pallets, what have you. We detect those through our low-code UI by dragging those detectors on. But that's not the end of it because typically there's other business concepts that are represented in that domain model that are not detected objects. They're not things that you necessarily see on screen. So for example, you might have the notion of a staging area in your warehouse where product sits before it goes out. So we represent those concepts as well through a concept we call static items. Static items allow us to associate the detected items to other business concepts that might exist. Once we have those, we build out relationships. What is the relationship between that staging area and let's say a forklift or a pallet? We define those, they might be proximity, where one is in the proximity of another, that's a relationship. What we're doing again is building out this relationship, this entity diagram or this database diagram effectively of, of the real world that you're trying to solve. Lastly, we go into what we call events. These are conditions that you can create on the data we've collected so far to trigger actions or emails or feed into downstream reports. So events can be of two varieties. There are what we call occurrences, which are things that happen a moment in a, in a moment of time. So one way to think about that is a person falling. Falling is an occurrence. They fell it's done, they're on the ground. Similar sort of thing could be a person is on the ground and that we call a span. So the duration of time the person's on the ground might be a span. So we model these events against the data we've collected through the detectives and statics. And with those, we can 
send text messages or emails, we can capture media. And those ultimately then feed into reporting software that either is through Kipsy UI itself or integrated with some downstream BI system. One of the key things with Kipsy is being a, a data stream. We have lots of connectors, lots of abilities to connect to downstream systems. What we aren't and what we don't want to be is a silo for someone's data. Data isn't useful if it just lives in Kipsy. It's only useful if it leaves and somehow enters the mind stream of people that can act on it. That could be emailed reports, it could be text messages, it could be existing systems like ERPs, work order management systems, or data lakes are, are a popular one where will be another data source in a data lake to allow teams to have a better understanding of their entire business, where vision is one source, but they might have order data that they, they pull in, or they might have HR data, what have you.